Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of uh, this crazy-ass game on a crazy-ass platform that doesn't like saving my damn videos. So, assuming I can get a short clip off of the VOD, you should shortly be seeing uh, either a few clips of, uh, of what happened while we tried to do last time, or most of what we tried to do last time. Time to go hunt. Uh, hunt a, whatever the fuck this thing's called. Sorry if you heard any weird noises there. I had to itch my ear, and my headset, for, for whatever reason, picks up every little thing that goes on with it. It's like, I love this headset, don't get me wrong, it has incredibly good audio, oh, a pretty decent mic and everything, but for some reason, the mic is, like, so sensitive to even some of the littlest shit, that unless you have, like, a bunch of stuff on it to keep it from picking the stuff up, you're just going to end up with a bunch of stuff you don't want in your recording. And it's kind of why, if you guys ever notice that these videos in particular are, like, really quiet, it, that's why. It's because I have to tone down the audio on the video quite a lot in order to attempt to remove some of the more unneeded and most certainly unwanted odd noises that just are right in there. Like, say, the noise of my fan going off in the first, like, quarter of the video. Oh my god, I can turn it up. <laughs> gonna die in 3, 2, 1. Oh no, I got stuck. Hold on, hold on. Axe mode is generally good because like, I can stun with it and everything, but I prefer the, I prefer the fast fire rates and everything. Of, or, not fire rates, but hack rates of uh, blade mode a lot more. Like, that's one thing of why I kind of love this, is because, like, at any given time, I can stun a hell of a lot, or just... Yay, we got it. It means I get a lot of extra, extra materials. Hey, Aaron. Yeah? I need to get on my stream and ban this person. <sighs> Are they doing the stupid shit again? No, it's completely different. It's like a whole 180 of what the other people do. <laughs> just wait till you read. Free special vid right away. <laughs> Wait, was this person trying to like sell you nudes or some shit? Uh, yep, yeah, they were trying to give me their OnlyFans. That's exactly what was going on. I didn't see him. Well, it was, it was spice, my spicy me. The spicy oh. website. Yes, that's what that's what they call OnlyFans anymore. Oh my god. Thank you. <laughs> well, guys, you just got to uh, uh, to have a preview of listening to uh, so someone trying to do a rather interesting shit to David on his stream, and you are very welcome. <laughs> but for the moment, trying to remember, did we do the second mission for Zora? I don't know if yet, if yet or not, but yeah. It might have been, because I remember we did the first one, because that was the one where we had to stop him from trying to go through the barricades. Yeah. Or was that last, was that our last assigned quest that we did for you? That was the last assigned quest we did for you. Okay, so, I know exactly where you're going to. There's two monsters in between, then another Zora, and then yeah. they go straight into the uh, dragons. Which means, guess what, we're almost done with the base game. Yeah, 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 true, true. Um, sure. anyways, in some of the clips you might have just seen, we did, I believe, 
this quest right here. There. Here. Just kind of took care of him towards the end. Talked about a bunch of random shit. Kind of wasn't in anything indirectly important. At least I don't think we talked about anything that was directly important. It was more of just kind of small pack walk while I tried, try, tried to find that damn eh, eh, random eh, random campsite. Yeah, there really wasn't too much that happened last, anyways. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. I wait for you to go through a cutscene. Yeah, unfortunately. I think you should at least be able to be put in a queue. Like, to join right after the cutscene happens. Yeah. I suppose the, really, the only really important thing that happened during last video was, uh... Since David is currently streaming this, uh... Twitch.tv slash Ace Sawyer 2003. Eh? Uh, he he had kind of someone pop on and decided it was a good idea to uh, randomly post a thing asking him to do something or whatever. Weird. Trying to sell him nudes, I'm pretty sure, side. but yeah, <laughs> it's something about the spicy as he sight and 18 plus only. For future reference to anyone, anyone at all, if you ever see that on someone's stream, him, him, or her, or her, her, something random, or on your own stream, if you have the if the ability, ban them immediately and do not try going to look for any of their stuff, because uh, I can assure you it's either a virus, it's some sort of scam, or something random that is just not worth your time. Oh no, trust me, it is a website. It's just OnlyFans. They want you to go purchase their OnlyFans. That's, that's all. That's all it is. They just want you to go purchase their OnlyFans. Which honestly, the only way to why, why pay for porn? Do that. It doesn't make any sense. Exactly. It's free on the internet. Yeah, yeah. It's it's free all over the fucking internet. But it's free yeah. on the fucking internet. Like, if... now I wouldn't necessarily suggest going to like just any site for it because I'm pretty sure like half of them are full of enough viruses to fucking nuke the U.S. government. But <laughs> but you know. Okay, the sad part is that it's, like, half-ass true. <laughs> yeah. When you really think about it. Cybersecurity is both no joke and kind of a joke in the eyes of, like, your average person that's trying to... to do stuff with that, because it's, like, it is so easy. If you really look into it and stuff, it is so easy to do some of the simplest stuff and make out with so much shit without ever being even detected. Yeah. Okay, how the fuck does one jump across these... Oh, you just keep fucking running. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> I was trying to do one of those things where you run off a cliff, you swing on a thing, and go to the next one. Mm -hmm. And every time I do it, I press jump, thinking I had to jump to it. Nope, I just had to continue running, and I was going to just fling myself off the edge. Which, you know, partially doesn't make any sense, because theoretically you'd want to jump. Yeah. Oh, I think we're having to deal with the puffball now. Yup. Yay. <laughs> Yay. I hate those things. We've already the fought one that... uh... One thing I can say is, uh... The world this game takes place in most likely takes place in a much smaller planet yeah, than uh, Earth. The reason I say that is because, theoretically speaking, the creatures that are these size and are still able to fly should not be able to. And, well, there's also that thing of, well, technically speaking, it's just a game mechanic. We really don't take much etch of any, if any, fall damage, which, mean, which could theoretically mean the gravity is lower. We're also able to swing around these heavy-ass objects like they're nothing. Which, once again, technically speaking, just a game mechanic, but... I One thing my I... My friend Aiden told me that's why he didn't like these games, because the weapons were so massive, it just made those... It, yeah, I can see where he's coming from there. It, it seems really unrealistic. But in reality, it's more of just a lot of 
big, uh, a lot of fun. Uh, kind of just like swinging around these massive blades, killing these massive, massive creatures. Yeah, that is true. A lot of weapons are made out of bone. And bone is a lot lighter. The only thing I can really say that, like, could make this game slightly more realistic if it was, like, the bones were hollow of the creatures, because that's, like, how birds fly and everything. Hollow bones. But that kind of goes against, like, their size more than anything, because, well, think about it. Something this size with hollow bones could not move. Yeah. Because they'd try to walk, and it would just end in them crumpling their legs. He was here, so I decided to kill him. The other guy ran away. The only thing, the only like real reason I can say the combat in this game is so hard is, first of all, how slow you usually walk with the weapons, which, well, makes sense. The fact that it's so hard to aim the weapons is kind of a pain in the ass. Yeah, I guess you just depend a little bit though. Well, that, and the second you try to sprint, you put it away. That kind of makes it hard as well. God damn it, Pablo, come here. Ugh. Let me grab you. Okay, bro's glitched. I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing or a bad thing. Well, apparently I'm out of him, so he's gonna come down anyways. He, he, was, he was gonna come down either way at this point. If it happens to be you beating the shit out of him with a hammer, then so be it. Alright, here he comes. I just got flashbanged. Yeah, did you go here? One hey. thing I actually can really say is that uh, we were playing. Uh, I, I've talked to you ab about this, but I was playing Daisy earlier today with someone, and stuff like flash bangs in that are both realistic and not fun. Because it's, the realistic in the sense of, like, a flashbang doesn't do, like, uh, in video games where just everything kind of goes white for a second. It, it can do that, but only if you're, like, looking right at it when it goes off, and it's not really for very long most of the time. Uh, I'm... And... Uh, well, that is, unless it horribly, damage your vi uh, horribly damages your vision. <laughs> and then everything will be white forever. Or dark or black, depending on how it happens. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, it uh, it's called a flash bang for a reason, because you see a flash, and then there's a loud bang, which disorients you. It's less of a flash grenade and more of a stun grenade, which is, in reality, its actual name is a stun grenade. However, in video games, those are called two different things. Hey! Where do you think you're going? He's running, that's where. One thing that I can say and like kinda say that's bad more or less about Daisy is like particularly like the servers they put out like themselves and everything, it's all set up very Poorly, okay, you like, yeah, like an I actual gameplay print. stance. Because on their official server like and everything, you have these, this problem where it's like there's no loot whatsoever almost. So 
You're almost. Watch out for that thing, likes to scream. Yeah, I know. But you're almost always having this problem where you have no loot, and then you see anyone, like, ever, and they're gonna kill you because you're just a sort of, like, any food and stuff. And it's, like, non-official servers on, like, community servers and stuff. You have ones that, like, have a bit more loot spawning here and there, or you'll spawn with a bit better stuff to get you started. Or did maybe. And, and it makes it a lot easier to generally survive, I've, rather than... You know, lasting maybe five minutes and then starving to death. It's like, it's like, oh, cool. You get to play on community-made servers rather than and official servers. Like, at the same time, I honestly don't think you should have to play on community servers, servers to just enjoy the game. Because, like, I understand it's meant to be, like, an apocalypse. There's zombies and everything. But I really doubt you're gonna find like basically nothing. It's like maybe like military equipment you would find basically nothing because they like would have pulled out and everything. Hey, hang long ago. Oh, rather than leaving all their equipment there. But but stuff like simple things like just things in like your average house and stuff. Assuming people did get out at all, they probably would want to have done it fast and would have left quite a lot. You know, uh -huh. rather than just furniture. But, that's my personal take. I mean, generally speaking, I think I like to have a bit more of a, a neutral, more realistic stance on a lot of things. Or at least I try to. One, the only really bad thing I can say about the Monster or Hunter series itself is the lack of voice acting. Where there is, it's good, but the fact that there's basically none of it, it, it just means you're kind of left having to read a lot randomly, and... Uh, and it kind of just feels you're playing through, like, a, 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 a novel... Or an in, uh, like an interactive story rather than a game. Let's see if I can upgrade my swag at all. No, I in fact cannot. I wish I could get hit the Defender Switch Axe X2, but unfortunately, that is not within my current ability. It doesn't even show me generally what I need to upgrade that. Ancient Truth. Oh, is that, oh, is that, that, that doesn't say ancient, does it? Uh, I cannot pronounce that. Got it. Yay. Okay, where's my... Here's my box. Oh, shit. I loaded up on things over here. The fact that you have to press three times just to store one thing. It's a little... I wouldn't say annoying, just kind of awkward. Do I currently have any traps? Hmm. Um, it does not appear that I do.
And I also do not have the things to make it. That's fine. I can say one thing. We'll do whatever the next mission is. And then we shall, and then I shall end the video. Right. All right. I'm counting on you. Now is the time. All right. <laughs> the biggest reason I say that is because. I am very, very tired. I can't tell if I'm hearing my computer or my PlayStation make that noise. What's up? I'm, I'm just hearing the fans ramp up quite a bit. So it's like I couldn't tell if I was hearing my PlayStation or my computer make that noise. Definitely sounds a lot more like my PlayStation, just due to the more awkward nature of the sound. Because I didn't know if you know this, but the fans inside PlayStations kind of make an odd sound whenever they uh, do things. Hey, that lady has a large nose. Very well. Okay, that also kind of confuses me. She she tapped the, that thing and it and the ship lowered. I would imagine it was just like a signal to the pilot, but you know, it's still odd. Yeah, let's just start working the force. Yeah, I can guarantee this is not Star Wars. This level of the game has always been kind of odd to me. Especially because we're poisoned the whole time. Oh. As I said previously, where there is voice acting in the game, it's good. But where there isn't, it leaves you wishing there was. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I take it I still need to do something to allow you to enter, I would imagine. Yes. That, or this is one of those missions that I just have to do by myself. It's an exploration. Yes, this is one of those missions I just have to do by myself. Okay, well, after that... Then you may go kill something or some, something. That's yeah, alright. Okay, the fact that you can just randomly see the creatures fall down in this area really goes to show just how, like, noxious and shit this entire area is. Yeah. Like, should we really be down here without a gas mask? I mean, the good news is, is, if I remember right, there are quite a few random bone piles laying around in this, ma this particular er, er map, so... Okay, my controller vibrated there, but I feel like it should be vibrating the whole time, not just slightly. Oh, hey, that big spiky thing! Big spiky thing. Ah, uh, yes. Big, spiky, two giant big horns. Oh, Nergagante? Uh, I believe so. Giant beast with wings? Uh, no. No. Actually, what I was calling two giant horns were actually things attached to its kneecaps. Hmm? Are those these? Hunt a Rodon Bond. A Rataban. Oh, I have to hunt this fucker on my own. Okay. 
Actually, no, if you leave the expedition and then post it as a quest, I can help you. Oh, okay, so I hit the great. Okay, that's good then. That means I really don't have to worry about that. I just gotta go cite a uh, great G I R R O S. <laughs> a great Giros? This, yeah, this game really puts my dyslexia to the test. It, it, that's the only bad thing I will say about this game is the naming scheme for most of everything puts my dyslexia to to, to shame. Because it feels like the normal speaking of like how I can't read stuff is just like tripled so it's like oh you have dyslexia and can't read well but well this game decides to like give even normal people dyslexia at least that's how it feels Well, that, and then you bring the ADHD into it, hit it, and the lack of like remember or memory. He have like weird shit like that, and then then it just it just makes like a weird pile of well, shit. Not only can I not read it, even when I do figure it out, I can't remember it five seconds later. Mhm. Mm like, damn, give me a break, will you? I have no clue where I'm going, where I am, or. What I'm doing. I need to cite the thing, but I don't know where it would be. It's in the bottom part of the map. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Damn slug snake things. I would be careful out there because you could get poisoned over. Oh no, I know. That's not what I meant to do. I just poisoned myself further with one of those plants rather than collecting it like it was asking me to. Because I couldn't put down my Don gun. Okay, let's see. Where is this darn thing? Look out! Your health is low. Keep your distance and use a potion. There it is. Ah. Now I've just got to get the bloody fudge out of there. Uh, return from expedition, right? Yes, return from expedition, and that'll just hunt the. the that'll just put the Radadon as a side thing, right? Better than signed, either one. Huh? It's you two. Um. Have we met? <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. You were out cold when I found you. I'm from the First Fleet. You folks are lucky to be alive. Hang on. She must be the one who saved us. Oh my gosh, thank you, thank you. Just glad you're still in one piece. Fifth Fleet, am I right? What are you doing out here? Actually... Hmm. Hmm. This is from Zora Magdaros? Have you posted I'll see what it? I can find. I've spent years delving into this no, secrets. because I'm in the middle of a cutscene. I'm starting to understand a thing okay. or two. Now it's your turn. Learn all that you can about this place. Sure, Next know, time we meet, have left. We can compare notes. About 14 minutes. Yes. As of right now. Good. See ya. Little over 14, but still. Wait, cutscenes get added to gallery? Well, that's kind of cool. I don't know why you'd want to go back and look at cutscenes, but, you know. Whatever floats your boat, I guess. I feel like that 
phrase is both very limited and very expansive at the same time because it's like it kind of feels like a like a phrase is you should only use who, who's in like certain uh like sentences or in certain contexts yeah. but at the same time it, it just feels so right in so many other her, 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 her terms <laughs> just give me the quest old lady Wait, what? I don't know what that does, but we're just going to go out, out on a limb and say it's probably not the best idea to, uh, to attempt, eh, okay? attempt to use it without the... Uh, Knowing exactly what it does? Okay. It posted it as an assigned, it looks like. Yep. Time to go hunt a crazy beast. Please tell me you can get in right away. Ah, you can. Yep. I am standing by for departure. Last monster. Like what it says, preparing. When in reality, we're not repairing, preparing for much. It's just a uh, 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 star console will say, "Hey, hey, hey we, we're trying to connect and load everything up, even though there's still going to be a, a, a long ass loading screen." One reason I can safely say these videos are actually actually turning out quite short. At least shorter than I thought they would be is both the thing of like I'm actually cutting out quite a bit of like the loading screens and things. Yeah. It's like I still can't believe that uh back when I was doing my Fallout 4 streams when I could, mind you, because right now, unfortunately, since uh a recent update to Fallout 4 has broken everything, I can't do it until it's all fixed. It's like we're talking when I say it's broken like literally all my mods, I mean it's broken literally all my mods because the update changed shit of like how like six, eight mods, something that literally almost every other mod that I use also use. Cause like the, the script extender and everything is used by like shit tons of mod mods. And then there's a few other ones that are uh that just kind of extend how mods can change and do things to the game game also are quite uh needed so the fact that they're messed up just means kind of impossible to play like right now if i were to try to launch my game with all these mods that i'm pretty sure 90% of them are not functioning. Uh, I'm pretty sure it would just flat out break. Like, my, my save would probably immediately go corrupt. My my game wouldn't properly launch. It, it needless to say, it would not be fun. Yeah, I keep forgetting about that. You know, that, that is one of those things of, like, the, a bone I will pick about most console games of, like, even the ones that do allow you to change the controls, most of the time they're just like little changes to the controls, like different presets they have set up and stuff. Not like straight up being able to change like what does what properly. So it's like for a game like this where I'm much used to attacking with like my triggers and everything, the fact that I cannot change it to that just means he's asleep. Yeah, he's almost dead. I'm gonna capture him. Nice. But anyways. Yeah, it just kind of more or less means that I have a harder time playing. And for some reason, the... That was... <laughs> terrifyingly easy. Congratulations. We we won. Uh, 
<sighs> well, I know this video has been short and potentially uneventful for the most part, but I do hope you all have enjoyed. Hopefully I can get a half-decent screenshot for the thumbnail. Actually, you know what? If we can, let's go to the uh, gathering center real fast so we can try to get that screenshot we got last time. Okay. But yeah, I do hope everyone has g at least generally enjoyed. <laughs> you should How do I... Oh, sorry. I think I just... Gathering hub. Did you make it? Yep, I'm here. Are we gonna try and do it from that side, or...? Oh, no, no. I say we do it about right here. Maybe. Ooh, that should almost work perfect. Let me get. Yep. There we go. Well, everyone, I sincerely hope you have enjoyed, and we'll be seeing you all in the next one.